Three mistakes that ruin profits on house flips. In this video, you're gonna discover three huge mistakes that will totally devastate your house flip profits. Too many new investors commit these errors and lose big time and money. If you wanna successfully flip real estate to make big profits, you absolutely must avoid these three mistakes. Hi, I'm Brian Bush with Freedom Mentor. And for nearly 20 years, our team has closed hundreds of deals each and every year and created incredibly successful real estate professionals all across this country. And one of the keys to our success has been mastering every detail of residential real estate transactions to ensure we consistently close profitable deals. And we want to share some of that wisdom with you today. Throughout this video, if you have any questions, text FREEDOM to 305-315-8030 or comment below. Now let's dive into the mistakes that ruin house flip profits. The first big mistake in house flips is overpaying. It's often said in real estate that you make your money when you buy, not when you sell. Of course, that means you have to buy right. And buying right begins with where you buy. You always consider the location of the property, but specifically the local demand and desirability. And you'll see that reflected in the inventory turnover. You want to buy where there's plenty of demand. That can be in the city, the suburbs, or sometimes even in semi-rural areas. You're also best buying without a lot of competition, which means off MLS properties direct from the seller. We specialize in teaching our apprentices where to find these gems. The next step to making sure you don't overpay is to focus on what you're buying. And that means taking the time to complete all the required due diligence. You must be thorough with your title search, all property inspections, and digging into the right comps. You're becoming an expert on that specific property and you can't afford to miss anything. For instance, if the property is overbuilt, that extra square footage is great, but you have to account for the reality that you'll never get the average price per square foot when you sell. And as you go through all that detailed diligence, you have to also keep in mind why you're buying. Of course your goal is to turn a big profit, but sometimes just being so eager to get in the game can lead to a confirmation bias where you're not remaining entirely objective. And sometimes, especially when you're new, you may just get worn out with all the diligence. And if you have the funds, you find yourself barreling to closing because you have a good feeling about this one. Well, no, the market doesn't care about your feelings. And if you pay too much, your first deal just may be your last. And finally, it's very important how you buy. Using hard money is expensive, but using your own cash and credit comes with a price as well. We at Freedom Mentor love to buy with creative terms, and the ease and protection terms can provide can be critical to ensuring you don't overpay for the property while you simultaneously remain well positioned to profit. The next big mistake that will ruin your profits on house flips is over-renovating. Part of the creativity that benefits you as a creative real estate investor can also find its way into the rehab process. For some, it's an opportunity to explore design ideas and transform a property but this is where you can get way too involved and easily lose sight of your real goals. The first key to avoid over-renovating is to know your market. Forget the drama you've seen on TV and all the upgrades you've always wanted at your own place. You have to understand your local market, all the comps and trends, and from those, build a solid scope of work so you can obtain realistic detailed bids. As you get to those details, the next key is getting to know your buyer. Beyond the local market, you want to be clear on what buyers are expecting at the given price range. The specific finishes and features that are in line with the neighborhood ensure to bring you offers. Missing those items in your scope and budget can lead you to either an inferior product or likely spending more than you had planned. And often finding yourself over budget forces you to look for savings elsewhere, and the last thing you want to cut corners on are finishes. After all, they're the first things buyers see. The final key to avoiding the mistake of over-renovating is to know where you add value. You do your diligence before you buy to be clear on the numbers and opportunity. You structure the deal and all your plans start to finish to ensure you have the bids and the budget to be successful. The last thing you want to do is run short of funds and find yourself trying to hire budget contractors that may do inferior work. Or worse, you get desperate and try saving money by doing the work yourself that always costs you more and will ruin your real profits. The final big mistake in house flips is overpricing your property when you list it for sale. This is typically a function of the first two mistakes. By paying too much for the property and then spending too much on renovating, you find yourself trying to make up for it by listing for too much. 
This is where you can waste serious time and money. In real estate, you can't afford to get emotionally attached to any deal. You must remain objective. Overpricing a property will bring far fewer showings, and commensurate offers below list may have you turning offers down. Your days on market build up, which creates what we call negative social proof, which further works against you. More time on market means more holding costs, especially if you're paying for expensive hard money on top of your taxes, your insurance, utilities, lawn care, HOA. And when you finally realize you have to drop the price, now you've shown the market your motivation, and that may further affect your contract negotiations. Please always remember this. The market doesn't care whether you make a profit. It doesn't care how much you've poured your heart and soul and savings into the property. The market doesn't care what your goals are this year, or that you plan to make $50,000 or $20,000, or even that you're just hoping to break even. So don't make the mistake of overpricing your property for sale. Avoid that position altogether by not overpaying, not over-renovating, so that you're positioned right when you're ready to sell and not tempted to overprice. Well, those are the three mistakes that will ruin profits on house flips. As mentors, we've walked countless people through this process to help them avoid these mistakes. We've helped them buy right. In fact, we often buy creatively to pay as little as possible and optimize our position in the deal. We've helped them renovate right. In a lot of cases, actually skipping the renovation and opting for the quick nickel to avoid all the rehab headaches. And we've helped our apprentices sell at the right price. It's all about pricing correctly to maximize your time and make big profits on house flips. If you want to learn more about how to do house flips, just for watching this whole video, you can get a free copy of Phil's book, How to Be a Real Estate Investor. Creative real estate investing is the best business there is, but there are lots of pitfalls you must avoid. And that's why every successful investor has a mentor. That's why we do what we do, because with a team like us behind you, you're unstoppable. You learn how to avoid the mistakes that will ruin your profits. And that's why when you watch our interviews, we have so many apprentices that have made a half a million dollars with us. If you're looking for the opportunity to transform your life and you're ready to build a successful business and future, apply to our apprentice program with the link in the description. Well, I hope you gained some real estate wisdom from this today. If you have any questions about anything we've covered, text FREEDOM to 305-315-8030 or comment below. Again, I'm Brian Bush with FreedomMentor.com. Thanks for watching.